Harriet Dart has leapt to the defense of former U.S. Open champion Emma Rajikanu after she suffered another frustrating defeat at the Slovenia Open. Harriet Dart has defended British No. 1 Emma Rajikanu after the former U.S. Open champion crashed out of the Slovenia Open in the round of 16. Dart missed out on the opportunity to usurp Rajikanu atop the British rankings as she suffered an agonizing first-round defeat in Portarus. Rajikanu was the top seed in Slovenia and advanced through the first round after opponent Diana Jastromska suffered an injury with the Brit winning 6-2 5-3. She faced German Annalena Friedsam and lost 7-5 0-6 6-3 in a topsy-turvy contest. Dart was hoping to eclipse her compatriot in the rankings but the 26-year-old suffered a frustrating first-round exit at the hands of Teresa Martinkova. The Briton admitted she has a close relationship with Rajikanu and revealed she was wholly impressed by her stunning achievement in New York 12 months ago. The 19-year-old has received plenty of criticism since winning her maiden Grand Slam title. Dart praised Rajikanu's unique ability to churn out the critics and naysayers who have sought to attack her following her post-US Open title win struggles. It's huge to remember that on any given day, anyone can win. Dart told Express Sport. There are not many matches where you can turn on the TV, especially in women's tennis, and it's a quick match. The level has gotten so strong and deep across the board, which is why what Emma did was so incredible. It was super inspiring. She's very young and to be able to handle everything that was thrown at her was very special. The supportive relationship between Dart and Rajikanu highlights the tight-knit group representing Britain on the international stage. The players have grown up playing together and ultimately spur each other on to greater heights. A lot of us are a similar age, and although some are a little bit younger and a little bit older, we've all grown up playing together, Dart added. We all got a lot closer and we all practice at the same venue, while we share same fitness coaches and physios. I think everyone just wants everyone to do well, and I feel if one person is doing well, it motivates someone else to do well, too. We have a really nice Fed Cup team, and hopefully we can be real contenders in the years to come.